In the quiet corners of a bustling world, where memories linger and hearts ache, a new tradition emerged, one that celebrated life rather than mourned its passing. It was an era when the baby boomers, once vibrant and unstoppable, began to fade away like autumn leaves carried by a gentle breeze. Evelyn sat by her window, her gnarled fingers tracing the patterns of sunlight on the sill. She had seen it all, the wars, the revolutions, the moon landing, but now she faced her final journey. Her children, scattered across continents, couldn't gather for a traditional funeral. Instead, they gathered virtually, their faces glowing on screens, sharing stories of her laughter, her quirks, and the way she danced in the rain. It's beautiful, Evelyn whispered, her voice fragile as spun glass, this digital farewell. The world had changed. No longer did funeral processions clog the streets, nor did cemeteries sprawl across the landscape. The boomers, who once championed environmental causes, now embraced simplicity. They chose to leave behind a smaller footprint, even in death. Virtual funerals replaced ornate ceremonies, and ashes were scattered in digital gardens, a pixelated tribute to lives well-lived. Behind the scenes, tech-savvy souls worked tirelessly. They wove memories into virtual tapestries, creating personalized websites for each departed soul. These digital memorials held photo albums, heartfelt messages, and even snippets of laughter captured in audio files. The boomers smiled from beyond, grateful for this modern twist on an ancient ritual. And then there were those who departed during the pandemic, the COVID generation. They never experienced the warmth of a physical hug during their final moments. Instead, they whispered their goodbyes through screens, their breaths mingling with pixels. Their funerals were simple, intimate affairs, just a handful of loved ones connected across continents. They became the pioneers, showing the world that grief could be shared even when physical presence was denied. As the years passed, the virtual funerals became a beacon. People realized that death need not be grandiose to be meaningful. It was the stories shared, the tears shed, and the laughter echoing through cyberspace that mattered. The boomers, once trendsetters, now set a new precedent, one of connection beyond borders. And so, when the next generation met, whether in person or virtually, they remembered. They raised their glasses to absent friends, their screens flickering with candlelight. Death, they realized, was not an end, but a transition, a passage into the collective memory of humanity.